hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will show you how to calculate the cement sand and aggregate required in a circular column okay so many students were asking me about uh, how to calculate the cement sand and aggregate in a circular column in previous video i have told you that how to calculate the cement sand and aggregate uh, of a rectangular column but in this video i will tell you for the circular column okay guys so let's start our video okay so uh, i have created a 3d uh, picture of the circular column you can see here so uh, its uh, diameter is how much 0.4 meter okay and uh, height is how much 3 meter and its footing is in cubical shape whose length is how much 1 meter and width is also 1 meter and depth is how much 0.25 meter okay guys the length of footing is 1 meter which is denoted by l okay width of footing which is denoted by b which is 1 meter and depth of footing which is denoted by h and is 25 centimeter and i have converted it into meter okay because we have 1 meter is equals to how much 100 centimeter okay and you can convert it into meter by dividing it by 100 okay simply so uh, for column here we have given data is for footing okay and now the given data for column is what diameter is 40 centimeter here you can see diameter is 40 centimeter and again converting it into meter we will get 0.4 meter and length of column it means height of column is how much 3 meter okay this height is how much 3 meter okay now let us move to our calculation okay guys so in first step what we do uh, we have to calculate the volume of hole this column also and this footing also okay so uh, for footing uh, first of all i am calculating for the footing only so a uh, volume will be what l into b into h okay guys because it is in cubical shape okay so volume for cubical shape will be how much l into b into h and after putting l as a 1 meter b 1 meter and h as a 0.25 meter we will get what 0.25 cubic meter okay guys so uh, the volume of footing we got how much 0.25 cubic meter cubic meter and meter cube are same unit okay guys don't be confused for column we have volume equals to pi r square into h okay guys this is the main formula uh, for this topic okay so uh, how will we calculate the volume of this circular column just we have to calculate the area of this uh, section okay and now uh, multiply it with this height or length okay so i have done here same i have first of all calculated the area of this portion okay and uh, i have multiply it with height okay so area of this circular uh, cross section area is how much pi r square r is the radius of the column but here given the diameter okay so we have to uh, divide this diameter by 2 to get radius okay so i have done uh, same uh, 0.4 divided by 2 will get how much 0.2 so same value 0.2 i have given here 0.2 okay so uh, value of pi will be how much 22 by 7 okay this is a constant value okay guys 22 by 7 and r is our 0 0.2 whole square and multiply with height which is given here okay and after calculating we will get how much 0 0.377 cubic meter okay guys we have calculated the volume of footing as 0 0.25 cubic meter and volume of column is 0 0.377 cubic meter now what will you do we have to add both okay so hence total volume will be volume of this column we have already calculated and volume of footing here already we have calculated so total value will be 0 0.25 for a column and 0 0.377 for a volume of footing okay after calculating both we will get how much 0 0.627 cubic meter and guys we uh, when we calculate the volume of any structure then it is always be in weight volume okay so in step two what will we do we have to calculate the dry volume we have to convert this weight volume into dry volume okay so how will we convert we have to take 52 percent to 56 percent of the weight volume extra in this volume okay so here we have got weight volume equals to 0 0.627 and after adding 54% extra we will get how much 0 0.627 into 1.54 and we will get total volume equals to 0 0.965 cubic meter as a dry volume okay guys now this is guys dry volume okay now 
we will calculate cement sand and aggregate with the help of this dry volume okay now remember this value how much is this 0 0.965 cubic meter okay so let's move forward we have total dry volume is equal to how much 0 0.965 cubic meter okay volume of cement sand and aggregate depends on the grade of concrete okay which grade of concrete has used in this column okay so just uh, you can choose m20 m25 m15 your choice okay so here i am taking m20 grade of concrete guys in m20 grade of concrete the mix ratio are 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 okay so one part is cement 1.5 part is sand and three part is what aggregate in the similar way in m25 one part is cement one part is sand and two part is aggregate okay so guys uh now in step three what will we do we have to calculate the ingredient ingredient means what volume of cement volume of sand and volume of aggregate okay now let us see the formula here the volume of cement will be part of cement by total part into dry volume this is the main formula guys here part of cement is how much one because i have taken m20 grade of concrete and part of uh, cement is what one okay and total part will be how, what uh, by adding all the ratio for example if we take m20 grade of concrete then we will add one one point five plus three and it will give us how much five point five okay in the similar way if we had taken m25 then its total part will be how, how much one plus one plus two is equals to how much four okay so i i have taken here m20 grade of concrete so total part will be how much five point five okay and part of cement will be what one okay so uh putting all the values part of cement is one and total part is 5.5 uh, and dry volume is here uh, 0.965 okay so uh, after calculating we will get how much one uh, 0.175 cubic meter okay guys now let us move to our volume of sand okay so how will we calculate we have to use same formula okay but difference is that uh instead of cement we have to put sand okay so how much part of uh, sand is there there is 0 point, uh, 1.5 parts okay so part of cement is 1.5 total part again the same as this uh total part is 5.5 and dry volume is again we have uh, put this okay so after calculating all this value we will get how much 0 point uh 263 cubic meter as a volume of sand okay now let us move toward volume of aggregate same formula we have to use okay just to replace the part of aggregate uh, okay so part of aggregate in this uh, uh, grade of concrete is how much three so putting three we will get uh three by 5.5 uh into 0 0.965 and after calculating we will get how, how much 0 0.5 to 6 cubic meter okay so in this way we can calculate volume of aggregate volume of sand and volume of cement but cement are found in bags okay so let us move forward in step 4 to convert this volume of bags in kg okay uh, or number of bags because cement are found in bags number of bags in market okay so we have total volume of cement how much we have calculated 0 0.175 cubic meter okay here we have calculated 0 0.175 cubic meter okay so we will convert the volume of cement into number of bags uh, it will be occur in two steps first of all we have to calculate total weight of cement then after that we will calculate total bags of cement okay so density of cement is how much 1440 kg per cubic meter guys we have you have to remember this values okay density of cement is how much 14.1440 kg per cubic meter okay and this is this is a volume okay now total weight of the cement will be volume into density this is the formula okay so volume is how much 0 0.175 and density is how much 1440 after calculating we will get how much 252 kg and after that i am converting this kg into number of bags okay so how will we do total weight divided by 50 okay because 50 we have divided it by 50 because one bag of cement is equals to 50 kg okay so if we divide this total uh, weight by 50 kg then we will get how much 5.04 number of bags okay so guys approximately we have to uh, use five bags of cement okay so guys we can say that the cement sand and aggregate required in a circular column which have dimension like this will be number of bags of cement will be 5.04 which is approximately five bags of uh, cement 
and volume of sand will be 0 0.263 cubic meter after that uh, volume of aggregate required 0 0.526 cubic meter well okay, guys you can also calculate the uh, cement sand and aggregate for different circular column like this okay so guys in this way we can calculate cement sand and aggregate for a circular column this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you Hello